Hello everyone, Omar32 here. Today I've got a new unboxing for you. This is the Corsair TX750 watt power supply. This is the version 2 enthusiast series power supply. So as you can see over right on the bottom there. That it says high performance ATX power supply and it has 75 watts so on the side you can't see much but the logo and on the back it has um, some pictures of the cables that are provided inside so first off the 24 pin cable and the EPS cable this is a 4 plus 4 EP, uh, ATX or EPS connector, uh, 6 plus 2 uh, PCIe connector, SATA connectors, Molex, and floppy. So this is how much there are inside. So 1 ATX 20 plus 4, 1 EPS 4 plus 4, 4 PCI 6 plus 2, 8 SATA, eight four pin molex and two floppy i don't know why they would include in on a 750 power supply enthusiast series power supply two floppy connectors because i don't think most people right now are even considering keeping their floppy disk or floppy drive so it says here high performance ideal for high performance pcs and ideal oh, okay and high efficiency cool and quiet and the Corsair Advantage well the Corsair Advantage is warranty all over the world and they can change it without even asking questions so let me show you the graph on the bottom. Let me just adjust the camera. So as you can see, this is there's a noise graph as you, over there. So the more the load on the power supply, the more wattage it uh, draws, the more decibels you can hear from the fan. And then the efficiency, as you can see, it has over 88% efficiency on 50%, and over 85, over 86% on 100% load. And this is the inputs. So it has 25 amps on the 3.3 volt rail, has 25 amps on the plus 5 volt rail, has 62 combined plus 12 volt uh, on the on the 12 volt rail, and 0.5 amps on the negative 12, 12 volts and plus on the VSB, which I don't know what it is. So uh, the 3.3 and the 5. Uh, provide 150 watts of power the plus 12 volt rail provides 744 watts and 6 watts on the negative 15 total of 750 so as you can see over here this is an 80 plus bronze certified with a 5 year guarantee from Corsair and the logo again so let me start opening the box. Let me just zoom out. So let me open the box. So first off, just open this. So usually Corsair provides a, a box in box solution, I might say. So here it is. Let me just get this open for you. So 
So first off, user's manual for the TX650, 750, 850. The only difference between all of these is that the 650 doesn't have uh, the, the two extra PCIe connectors. It only has two, while the 750 and the 850 have four. So it comes in a couple of different languages. Let's put this on the side. Comes with a standard cable, as you can see. Standard grounded cable. Comes with some zip ties, a Corsair case badge. You can see from the. As you can see, there it is, Corsair case badge, and some screws for mounting it to your power supply so as you can see they provide excellent protective foam for the power supply so there won't be any damage when you when you receive it if you're getting it chipped I bought it at the shop so it doesn't it doesn't matter for me they also provide extra padding on the bottom. So here it is. It comes in a bag. I don't know why because this is not a modular power supply but they do provide Corsair bag. Let me get the plastic wrapping off of it. Plastic wrapping. So here is the power supply itself. So they've got you covered for each angle. You're gonna mount the power supply, and if you're gonna mount it for the fan pulling air from the inside, you'll have the TX six uh, seven fifty uh, aligned right. If you wanna mount it, the fan blowing uh, sucking air out from the outside of the case, you've got it also covered because TX seven hundred and fifty is adjusted for both sides. So here are the specs for the power supply. Let me just. Here it is. You can read it by yourself. You can pause the video and read it by yourself. So now to the connectors. I'm gonna pause this video until I can unwrap these cables, adjust them, arrange them, so I would make the explanation uh, fast. Okay, so I have adjusted them, and here they are. So first off, the 24 pin cable. It's a 20 plus 4 cable. I don't know. It won't come out. It's supposed to come out to be a 20 pin only without this this part on the end. And it comes with 4 6 plus 2 connectors as you can see. It's 1, 2, 3, and 4. 4 plus 4 pin connector comes with two cables each with three SATA cables each with three SATA so a total of six and it comes with two cables each with four four Molex cables and on the end of each one, there's a floppy connector, the one that I talked about on the in the beginning of the video. Okay, so I think that's pretty much the end of this video. So here is the box again. Here it is. So thanks for watching, everyone. This was Omar32. I hope you like my videos, and thanks for watching, everyone. Follow me on Twitter. I uh, find the link in the description so it's the same uh, username and subscribe for more tutorials unboxing peace